Hello, this is Chris Crow, the Photo Pro here with another Lightroom tutorial for you. Today we're going to discuss vignetting, how it can affect your photos, how to do it, and more importantly, how to mass produce that effect on several photos. So what is vignetting? It's the darkened corners that a lot of photographers will edit into their photos in order to give it a little bit more feel or depth or mood or whatever they might be trying to achieve. You can go darker or lighter. I personally never go lighter, but some people like to do it, especially you'll see that a lot with like baby shoots and stuff like that. So it's good that they give you that option. So to get started, we just go into Lightroom and we just zoom on down here to effects. Where you see effects, it'll say post crop vignetting. Now what they mean by post crop is that means if you put any special crops into your photo, like you wanted to make this a portrait style here it'll make sure that when it vignettes it will only darken the corners after the crop now if you do this before you do the crop and you're like oh well you know, oh, don't say it's rejected if you darken the corners like that and you decide oh I want to change the crop maybe back to a portrait or landscaping shot uh, let's say something like that it'll still darken the areas to the new crop. So you never have to worry about the vignetting actually affecting your current crop. So to actually produce the vignetting, you may have already seen me do it. When we're in effects, you'll see the amount here where you're allowed to go up or down on the exposure bar. Now, I personally don't like to go super dark. I think that looks terrible. That is my opinion. You can change the effect however you want um, but I like to go somewhere around here. So I like to go a little darker. Ne negative 40 is pretty high, but I want to make sure that the effect is definitely visible, but I don't want it to be overpowering. And then you can change your midpoint. If you want to make sure that a uh, certain part's still more exposed, you can do that. And then I usually keep everything on default, but you can change it however you want. So as you see by the roundness, this is a little bit more square. As you can see from the edges, this is a little bit more of a circle. And then feathering, which is obviously when you change it to the more extreme conditions, that's what you get for feathering. And then we have your highlights. So highlights is something I will occasionally adjust depending on the look of the photo I want because sometimes I don't want that uh, overexposed area in the right corner to be darkened because it looks kind of weird sometimes so I'll sometimes go ahead and change the highlights so that way it doesn't look as unnatural so you can do vignetting however you think is best whatever you think will push your photography to the next level I always provide the client with a copy of color and black and white and in the color and black and white I offer a vignetted version and a non-vignetted version so I like to give the client the option now when I am putting this across all the photos I don't have to go to every photo and put it or and add it to every photo now this is a little bit different than mass editing because mass editing will cover your exposure if you wanted to it'll cover so many things that you may or may not want it to so in order to get it to across all the photos, you can hit, you can hit sync right here. We don't want it to auto sync. And we just turn off all these things, except that because it gives you a stupid explanation point. And then this, which will then put vignetting across all the photos. Now, if we decide, oh, we want to go for a white corner. If you notice, the other photos have not changed. Only this photo has, even though they're all selected. You would have to hit sync again, synchronize, and now all the photos have the white edges. So, again, I don't do white edges. You may want to for your own style, for your own photography. Again, this is to just give you one additional option to push your photography to the next level in post-processing. I'm not telling you how to edit your photos, but I want to empower you to make the decision yourself for what changes you want to do. 
I hope that was useful for you. I am Curtis Crow, the Photo Pro, and as I always do, toodles.